Hello everybody and welcome back to the last week for us, um, the host, myself as well as uh, Teresa's Creations of the Acrylic Pouring Fun Hashtag event. You guys still have time to participate and win some prizes. Um, there will be cash prizes for anybody that creates a video and uh, go out, you know, and does the whole process, all five videos. It will be entered into a drawing and anybody that uh, has commented on both myself as well as Teresa's Creations videos you guys will all be entered into a drawing for some of our work so let's get on to what today's project is well today was a freestyle so that means we can do anything we wanted and um, I had some uh, a permanent adhesive uh, vinyl and I thought hmm how cool would it be to try one of those silhouette pores that I've seen um, that come out just absolutely stunning so I went into my Cricut and pretty much um, pulled out this cameo style uh, kind of silhouette and I'm gonna be using only three colors I'm gonna be using black gold and white um, for the pretty much for the entire process the little hand that you see popping in and out is my daughter's because she was sitting with me watching the magic happen uh, happening as it was taking place so as you guys saw, I didn't uh, pre-mix my silicone. I just pretty much added um, some silicone sh uh, to the paints uh, as I was layering them. And I poured out all of the paint. And I'm just going to, you know, I covered the entire thing. Um, in retrospect, you know, every time that we do something, we always learn. In retrospect, I will definitely just pour around the negative spaces and not over the vinyl itself. Um, and, you know, just... I would have just done the center I should have just done the center with this which is the image of the lady and then all around uh, the vinyl but either way I think it came out absolutely beautiful and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy how this you know how this whole thing actually turns out so um, out of all the techniques that I've tried uh, for these past four weeks um, my two favorites are uh, the napkin swipe as well as the string so for this one i decided to incorporate some of the napkin swiping um which was week number two okay um in this acrylic pouring fun hashtag event so i did add some white with no silicone and pretty much just spread that paint across you know uh swiped it all the way across and at this point what i was pretty much thinking like oh no i put a whole bunch of paint over the vinyl <laughs> i'm gonna get the vinyl out from under here so um, I'm going to do this a couple times and I'm just going to swipe it a couple times just to thin it out a little bit. Although I must say I do love every layer. I love the effects. Like I love how this part of it looks. I, I really like the way that it looked originally when I just poured the paint out. Every single one of them I was just like oh my god I like it I like it. But you know you just got to keep going sometimes and hope for the best. So I'm going to go ahead and thin this paint out a little bit and just like I said do some more swiping on it. Um, at the end I do end up with way smaller cells but I still end up with a really really nice um, kind of wood grain effect which I think came out absolutely beautiful and considering that I'm using a cameo um, and it's kind of a Victorian style I thought that that was kind of cool and um, the colors that I used are kind of like rustic colors um, that's kind of what I was going for with this from the beginning so I was really really pleased <clears throat> so I did speed this video up because it did take me um, with the swiping and everything that I did on this part that took me almost an hour and then you guys are gonna see me come back when the canvas is like 98% dry it wasn't all the way dry but I couldn't help myself and I was running a little late to create this video, um, but it all worked out at the end. But you guys are going to see um, what ends up happening to me, which I was like, oh no. <laughs> but um, I fixed it, so yes. <laughs> quick thinking, quick thinking. So I do um, start to kind of create a different kind of effect on one end by um, using a straw. And that was not one of the techniques for us to use. This is just something fun that you can do if you want to create like... Um, kind of like a wavy kind of appearance now I will say you do run the risk of um, you know blending in some of your colors so be mindful of that when you're doing this um, you know it's, it creates really really cool effects but it can blend some of your colors which I was aware of that and I kind of wanted that effect which is the reason why I did it in the first place but if you're not trying to blend out your colors then be really really careful how you do this 
and um, I end up adding you know more of the black more of the gold um, as I go because as the colors start blending I still want to have some of that gold sticking out I still want to have some of that black visible I don't want it to just be you know a solid gray mask um, so I kind of work that in there little by little little by little I'm explaining to my daughter right here um, what I expect because she's like why do you guys enjoy these cells so much and I'm like because that's the magic of um, acrylic pouring not everybody likes them um, but I personally do <laughs> it's always a goal for me to get some types of cells happening so now it's pretty much um, I speed the, the drying up with uh, a heat tool I did allow it to kind of dry on its own for several several hours um, and then I just kind of went with the heat tool and started to kind of you know apply some heat to it and allow it to kind of dry up a little bit which it dried up enough that I can start kind of working with it and peeling up uh, peeling off the vinyl now there's two different kinds of vinyls as far as I'm aware there might be more I'm not really too familiar with the whole vinyl thing but the one that I used for this is the permanent adhesive okay it's the one that actually has the sticky on it um, so that's how I was able to kind of you know glue that onto my canvas um, and it stayed if you use the regular vinyl you might not get the same result because that one doesn't really stick to like this this kind of a surface um, so if you're gonna use vinyl uh, use the type that has the sticky on it you can try it with wallpaper but um, you might want to seal it first just because wallpaper it will lift if it feels anything moist under it so just be aware of that so I was so excited when I got it um, when I got the image I was like yes but then I come to see that my nose broke <laughs> Um, so I had to do some like repairs you, you guys are gonna see some of the repairs that I do try to do and I am gonna use that for something else um, that piece that's left over I think it came out super cool so I'll be using that on a different project um, at some point later on but I had to fix the nose so I found that it broke like a little piece broke off and then the other part just kind of cracked so it was still kind of like attached but just kind of <laughs> hanging there so um, I figured I'm like you know what it's gonna glue to itself so I'm gonna add some paint and I'm gonna glue it that way so I didn't glue it with like glue or anything like that I just applied some of the wet paint that was still on uh, the cameo vinyl piece and I also actually go into it with some black paint underneath um, just to kind of help it to, to seal you you probably can go ahead and just mod project back on um, but I just had the paint right there so I figured I might as well just use it up so that's more or less how I end up kind of fixing that so by the time that I come back to this part I think that this part of it will be either fixed or in the process of being fixed so um, yes <laughs> I was doing a nose job you guys <laughs> um, so let's see here so here I'm, I'm attaching like the last little piece um, kind of making sure that that's like meshing in well and I use a piece of that um, you know non sticky backing to kind of just mush it in there and you know hope for the best and hope that it dries and it actually did dry really well so everything is good you guys everything is good <laughs> tragedy averted um, so in this negative space um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it all in gold and this is Emperor no glorious gold is the color that, of this gold paint and it's a deco art paint everything that I've used here as far as paints and um, pouring medium are deco art most of you guys um, have heard me say more or less that I mix uh, one part paint to one and a half part pouring medium and I add a little bit of water here and there depending on the paint because all dif different paints have different thicknesses to them regardless of how much of the pouring medium you add to them you might sometimes need to just add a little bit of that water in there this gold is definitely one of those um, well the gold that I used for the mix was definitely one of those this gold is a different gold the other gold I think was um, emperor's gold and this is glorious gold that I'm using on this part of it so I'm just going to kind of fill in all of that uh, area and uh, it's a good thing if you save your um, negative, if you pull it out, if you save your negative because that can kind of help you to keep within the lines when you are going to be, you know, um, adding any other colors. If you're going to be like doing what I did, which is just adding a solid base afterwards, that helped me out a lot to keep within the lines. <clears throat> and so um, I'm going to be filling this in. I'm also uh, going to be doing some stenciling on onto this. I, I really just kind of went half. I said, you know what? It's the last one. And I just want to try a little bit of everything. Some things that I've already done before, like my stenciling, where like my, my mixed media and stuff like that. And then 
um, I definitely seen uh, like a whole bunch of these like um, silhouette type acrylic pours and I'm like I definitely got to try this um, so I kind of just went ham and just did a little bit of both um, and honestly I'm really 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 pleased with the end result of how this came out and I'll most likely be doing more of these let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more of these cameos um, not cameos but silhouette type of acrylic pores because um, I definitely think that I want to be doing um, some more of those I do have to get some more canvases like some big canvases like this because um, I think that it just works a little bit better when you do it on a big canvas although I think you could do it on any kind of canvas this canvas is from Dollar General it's the six, 12 by 16 I believe is the size of this is a pretty large one But I absolutely loved it. So now that I've got most of my outlining done, and um, <laughs> I apologize for the background noise in case you guys heard that, but you guys know already with how it is over here with me. Um, I live right by the street, so I'm always getting that traffic noise, no matter what time of the day it is. So. <clears throat> I'm just doing some final little touch-ups here and then I'm gonna go ahead and outline um, I'm, I'm gonna outline the the oval shape of the cameo with black um, I'm also gonna outline the lady um, with black as well and then you guys are gonna see me do um, some stenciling so yay so I'm just using regular basic um, black acrylic for this and again, all uh, deco art products, uh, acrylic paints and pouring mediums um, is all deco art. So, and I have a problem with my brushes, you guys, because I go through brushes like you wouldn't believe. Um, no matter how much I take care of them and wash them ever so gently, <laughs> they always like fray and um, end up with little hairs everywhere. But um, I managed. I managed. So hopefully this video is not too long and you guys um, have enjoyed it. <clears throat> I really, really do look forward to seeing some of you guys give it a try. Um, this is all about having fun. You guys can do, you know, all different kinds of projects uh, with these kinds of things. I mean, you can use it on paper. You can, you know, make canvases. You can acrylic pour almost anything. It's like Dunkin' a Donut, you guys. You can do it. <laughs> with just about anything so um we have we did five weeks the first week was um a canvas pour straight or dirty the second week was the napkin swipe method um the third week we worked on cds the fourth week was a string um a string method which is just uh like pulling string uh, across the canvas um and then we are here on the freestyle so pretty much for the freestyle you can incorporate any of the any of the previous or even come up with a whole new technique if you would like um that would be super cool and remember this is all about having fun you guys you never really know what you're going to get with acrylic pouring um you know as much as you want to have it to down to a science you know it, every single one is going to come out different you can use the same exact um paint colors you can use the same exact you know measurements and everything and everything is always going to come out different there are no uh wrongs in this it's all about having fun um and just enjoying you know enjoying the process and seeing what happens so here i'm kind of outlining her um just to kind of get her more defined within that gold space um you know kind of give her that really nice uh you know crisp outline if you will so that's more or less what I'm going to end up doing with this. Um, I I was tempted to do like other um, shapes today, but um, I ended up, you know, just kind of settling for this one. And like I said, I absolutely, I love it. <laughs> I think um, out of all of all, all of my canvases, this is definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite. Um, I just love the style of it and the fact that it's got like that solid it's got that solid but at the same time it's also got like all the other effects and cells and everything kind of like going through it i just think it's super cool and i'll definitely continue to do more acrylic pores because it's just something that i like um 
It's just something that I've been wanting to do from way before. Um, you guys know I love playing with paint. I love getting my hands dirty. You know, every time I do my live streams, I, I always end up painting something because I just can't help myself. And this is just <laughs> another thing that is going to be, you know, has become slowly an obsession of mine. Um, and I'm learning so, so much from it. And I want to say thank you so much to Teresa, who's Teresa's creation, for doing this hashtag event with me. I so, so greatly appreciate you asking me, um, you know, to do this with you. This has been so, so much fun, you guys. If you haven't uh, subbed to her channel, definitely go make sure that you do. You know, and check out her videos as well, you guys. Come on, let's show her some YouTube love um, and check out her videos because everybody did an amazing job and we also have some other participants um we have donna who's um crafts and more with donna jackson we have boricos crafting 100 we have Lori seabrook who has tried it as well and we also have uh starting over i think i'm saying the whole name i'm not sure but her name is tina um so definitely you know there's a whole bunch of people that are doing it all you gotta do is search the hashtag name which is acrylic pouring fun um, and you should come up with everybody that has been, you know, creating and doing these different techniques. We're all beginners, you guys. We literally just started doing this yesterday. So nobody here is a professional um, and nobody here is claiming to be. So this is just fun, 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 fun. Um, and, and, and no judgment, just, you know, everybody just trying different things and just, you know, enjoying the process. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you check it out. Check out the um, check out the hashtag. Search it up on YouTube. You know, show everybody some love because it does take a lot of nerve to do something that you've never tried before, especially when you know results can be so like unpredictable. I mean, you can go from making something, uh, you know, that has all of these different layers and so many different things happening to something that is, you know, a little bit more mixed. So there's so many different things that can happen. Um, so definitely go and show them some love and some support, you guys, because everybody here has been courageous, including myself. <laughs> so it's been super, super cool. Um, so we're almost nearing the end of this. Um, the stencil that I am using is a stencil that I got from AliExpress. No, not AliExpress. Yeah, I think it was from AliExpress. Um, and this is a deco art stencil here. And I'm not gonna fill in. I just want to get like an uh, uh like a distressed kind of feather um so that's more or less how i end up doing it i do it with the purpose of just getting a little bit of the image i didn't want to continue to cover up you know you know the acrylic pour that happened in the background so i just wanted to get like a nice little um distressed kind of feathery look that you can still see the pour behind it but you can still see that it's a feather um i try using i try like you know trying to figure out like do i want to use a different stencil what I, what do i want to do here um, because it still felt like it was something missing but I end up uh, just adding again some feathers um, and I end up using the same stencil just you know a different part of it I had to wait for the other stencils to kind of dry up a little bit because I didn't want to get the the cameo dirty with you know with with black paint so I'm going to try to include some pictures in the end of this video, um, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, they're definitely going to be there. It's at design elemental. Um, so pretty much I'll leave my uh, information down below in the description area. And you guys, um, the next thing that we're going to be having is um, a vintage hop. You guys we're going to be doing vintage crafts. The announcements should be coming up soon. If you're seeing this sometime in the future, then it's already out, and we're doing all different kinds of like vintage, um, you know, vintage inspired crafts. So definitely check that out. We're gonna have a slew of awesome crafters, um, and it's gonna be just so, 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 so amazing. I already know. <laughs> I already know. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun things happening. A lot of fun things happening. So definitely check it out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do you're gonna see all different kinds of things here from mixed media to crafting to DIYs um, to altering things assembled art I do some painting I do a little bit of everything you guys you're gonna get a little bit of everything with me unfortunately I can't stay on one lane <laughs> I'm all over the place but hopefully you'll be able to enjoy um, all the different things that I bring uh, you know that I bring out so uh, also 
I have my uh, SSV 2500 sub -E subscribers. So if you're again, if you're watching this sometime in the future, hopefully I'm way beyond this 2500 mark. Um, but if you're watching this in the present, then you know check it out if you would like to join and participate. I have extended that challenge um, to allow people you know more time to participate if they would like to do so. This acrylic pouring fun hashtag event has also been extended to allow more people to participate. All of that information will be listed down below as well as the video to the update information. I think this came out absolutely gorgeous, you guys. What do you all think? Um, <laughs> I'm so in love right now with this. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Every time I create something, I'm always like, wow. Because you never really know what it's going to come out like. So, for me, every single piece of art is an adventure. And that's what I love about, you know, creating and being an artist, being a crafter, being a little bit of everything, a little mod podge of everything. Um, it's just that everything is an adventure and you never really know what you're going to get. And it's just so super amazing and fun. Um, and it's just an awesome thing when you can wow yourself, right? <laughs> so, uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I would love to hear what you guys think about this process, the hashtag event, um, you know, the whole thing in general. Definitely would love to hear your thoughts. Leave them down below. Have a blessed week, you guys. And I will check you out on the next one. Bye.